So the next project I'll be going after is uh, working on getting a sliding barn door in front of our bathroom, our master bathroom into, in our bedroom. This door will tie the bedroom together. After finishing the faux mantle out of the reclaimed barn wood, um, and then using that same wood to, to create this barn door out of, uh, I, think, I think that'll be one of the final steps that I have to do in the room. Um, to, to kind of tie it all together. We're going to uh, split the door, have the plank running down the middle uh, with the border all the way around. So um, it'll come together. Hopefully it makes a little more sense. Three foot six inches from the bottom, measure, mark, and then uh, send them over. We're gonna send them over to the uh, miter saw, edge them out. So I found a piece of eight foot uh, wood that I had up in the in the stock um, so I'm able to create some seven foot pieces to join everything together so I'm pretty pumped about that so um, what I did is I scribed a two and three quarter inch which will split this pretty much in half and I'm about to uh, since I don't have a table saw I'm about to split this with the uh, flex bolt uh, circular saw the 60 volt not bad all right so now what I'm about to attack is uh, to start framing this thing up so we're gonna get the outside going uh, then come back work on the inside pieces but um, got that piece I ripped plus one of the bottom pieces put one of the top pieces we'll have a piece going across the middle um, so yeah all right so I've got the edges laid out. We want to be 37 inches wide and right now um, I've got them clamped to the saw horses 37 inches wide. Took a measurement between the trim plate which is 31 and an eighth. Got that cut. So I got this thing framed up. Now all I need to do is take those planks, fill this up, brad nail the heck out of it and flip it over the brad nails back on all those pre-cut so this should go pretty fast so all the planks are uh bratted in or nailed in i'm going to flip this over so that we can see what the final product looks like before we attach the handle and get ready to mount it to the hardware turned out okay on the bottom side of this, I'm going to put an X, uh, just kind of differentiate it, make it, uh, make it look like two separate pins. Got the barn door flipped over, this is the back side. I'm going to trim it out. I'm going to stick pretty basic, probably not going to put the, uh, the X on the bottom, just across the middle, around the edges. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, i got to get jump up here and try to find uh, the studs. The barn door hardware that we have is drilled on 16 inch centers. So hopefully that's what the studs are here. If they're not, we'll have to go get a header, header board. The studs don't line up with the barn door hardware. So what we have to do is install a header board. Uh, basically that's going to attach to the studs and allow us to mount the barn door hardware wherever we need to mount it. First step will be to get it level and to make sure that it's the right distance uh, between the TV and the wall. The next thing we're going to do is trim this out with barn wood. We want it to match the reclaimed look of the mantle that we built uh, a couple weeks ago. So basically we'll just wrap this up against the 2x4 and make it look like it's an old rustic barn beam. The next step was to mount the rail that the barn door will ride on. It's important to make sure that the rail is centered along the beam and that the ends go past the door on both sides. You'll want to make sure that you don't fasten these bolts down too much because if you do, then when you slide the barn door hardware, it will press against your beam. 
The next step was to install the rail sliding hardware. The industrial design hardware kit came with amazing instructions. Super easy to follow and even gave tips such as cutting a spacer block to speed things up. So we just got the rollers mounted. Um, about to take the, the door in, hang it up, and make sure everything lines up before we finish the last few steps. The next step was to install the stoppers on both the ends of the door. What this does is ensure that the barn door doesn't slide off the ends of the rails. The last couple of steps were to install the rail guide at the bottom on the floor. This ensured that the barn door doesn't slide off uh, the rail at the bottom uh, and it also keeps it off the door. Alright, so we have it hung, got the door stoppers on. I'm going to take the old, old bathroom door off now. The next step was to install the door handle. We wanted to wait until we installed the door so that we ensured we got the height correct. Mm-hmm. 